what's going on guys welcome back to the youtube channel welcome back to another video and on today's video i'm going to explain to you guys how i'm planning on getting massive during the rest of the year so i've just completed my four weeks comeback program that i've done to basically go back to the gym after the three months of lockdown because of covid but now i am ready to go i've completed my comeback program so my body is ready to go all in again and that means that i'm gonna keep on with my bulk for the rest of the year and on this video i'm gonna explain to you guys what i'm planning on doing in terms of both nutrition and training let's get started Okay, before we start, I just want to apologize for this hair, but I've just come out of the shower and this is how my, fur, my hair looks, so I apologize. Okay, first, I want to go very quickly over the two main and most common methods that you can approach a bulk in terms of nutrition. The first one is, uh, I guess you guys know it, is the dirty bulk. You know, the dirty bulk is all about eating whatever you want, whenever you want, and just putting calories in and get, gaining as much weight as possible. And that's exactly what, in my opinion, sh you should never do, because that that will only lead to unnecessary fat gain, uh, unnecessary water retention, your hormones are going to go crazy and your health is not going to be the best. So that's definitely not the ideal option. Now, there's only one case in which I would recommend you to do a dirty bulk and that's if you are a hard gainer. And even, the, even if you are, I would not recommend you to do a 100% a dirty bulk, but if you really are a hard gainer, you have a lot of trouble gaining weight and building muscle mass. I mean, I would not recommend you to eat pizza and ice cream all day every day, but I would suggest you to include those type of foods more often in your diet so they help you hit a higher caloric intake and basically to make your bulk easier. Because honestly, if you're a hard gainer and you have to eat 3,000, 4,000 or 5,000 calories of, I don't know, pasta, rice, veggies, chicken and oats, it's gonna be a struggle. But other than that, if you're not a hard gainer, if you're a regular person like me, don't go for the dirty bulk. And the second one is the clean bulk, and this one is the one that I personally prefer, the one that I apply with all my coaching clients, and the one that I recommend to everyone. So, on a clean bulk, you basically put yourself on a slight calorie surplus, just enough to basically build muscle and consistently gain weight week after week, but without skyrocketing your body fat percentage, and you base your diet on healthy, whole and nutrient dense foods. So this will not only allow you to basically build muscle, which is your goal when you're bulking, it will also help you keep your body fat at a decent percentage and be and feel way healthier. Also, since you're not gonna be eating so many calories, it's gonna be easier for you to go from your bulk to your gut whenever you decide cutting because it's not gonna be such a drastic change. But because it, when you're dirty bulking, let's say your calorie maintenance is 3000 calories or yeah, 3,000. So if you're eating 5,000 calories a day, which is kind of like relatively easy if you're doing a dirty bulk, you're on a 2,000 calorie surplus. If you go from there to a deficit, it's basically a 2,500 2, calories of difference. That's a huge, huge jump. But if you are doing a clean bulk and your maintenance calories levels is 3,000, you're gonna basically put yourself like anywhere from 300 to 500 calories above your maintenance level. So whenever you go cutting again, it's not gonna be that huge of a jump, so it's gonna be and feel easier for you. Honestly, I really feel that the clean bulk is the more intelligent approach uh, for a bulk because I've done dirty bulk in the past and obviously, yeah, you enjoy that because you eat whatever, whatever you want and whenever you want, but it's, it's just not, first off, it's not healthy and second off is you just gain an unnecessary huge amount of fat that you later on have to get rid of so it's it's not really the most ideal uh, approach for a bulk so clean bulk all the way and that's what I've been doing for the past few years and that's what I'm gonna do for the rest of my life whenever I decide to bulk and what I'm gonna do with my clients because it's the first off the best for overall health and second off for the, your physical appearance, as I said, you're gonna keep your body fat percentage at a decent rate and you're not gonna gain as much water weight, so you're not gonna be and feel so bloated. Now, let's go over my diet plan for this bulk. I'm gonna put myself basically around, uh, let me see, basically around 3,000 calories, and I'm gonna aim for 190 protein, maybe 190 or, let's, let's say 190 to 200 protein, 380 to 400 carbs and around 80 grams of fat. So the first meal is gonna be my breakfast and it's gonna be actually my pre-workout meal because I train in the mornings. So it's gonna be 
60 grams of oats, 200 grams of uh, 200 milliliters of egg whites, one banana, and 20 grams of peanut butter. So I've been having some trouble with my breakfast because I'm not as hungry as I used to be in the morning. So I've been cutting calories on my breakfast, but there's no problem because I compensated uh, during the rest of the day, so no problem. The post-workout meal is gonna be very easy, very simple. Just 40 grams of whey protein, five grams of creatine, and 120 grams of cereal. It's basically a very easy to digest meal. Whey protein, super easy to digest, and the cereal, pretty easy to digest too so it's gonna be a very light and quick snack post workout meal three is gonna be 140 grams of pasta uh, um, 80 grams of chicken breast 50 grams of avocado and veggies because the veggies whichever I prefer there's no need to really count veggies because they are super low in calories and we are bulking so no one really cares fourth meal it's pretty similar to my third one you guys know me uh, just you guys know how I do it. Simple, easy, and effective. So my fourth meal is gonna be basically 100 grams of rice, 80 grams of chicken breast, and 20 grams of almonds for those good fats. And we actually have, like I said at the beginning, around 80 grams of fat to cover, so we're gonna be eating more than plenty of fats. And finally, for my five, my five, right? My fifth and last meal of the day is gonna be three whole eggs, 150 milliliters of egg whites, 200 grams of red potatoes, 20 grams of almonds, and 10 milliliters of olive oil. Okay, as for supplements, I'm gonna keep it very simple. First off, whey protein post-workout, as I already said. It's basically a very fast digesting protein source, also with some creatine, and actually, I really recommend you guys take some creatine uh, during your bulks, so it, it helps you with your, basically, strength on your compound movements, and just overall, to have more energy during your workouts. Also a multivitamin to make sure that my body is getting all the vitamins and minerals it needs. I mean, honestly, I don't really, I don't really notice the difference in between whenever I take it and when I don't, but I just wanna be sure that my body is getting everything that it needs. And finally, some digestive enzymes because when I'm bulking, I mean, I'm not a really huge eater, so whenever I start approaching that 3,000 calorie mark or eating even more, I start having some problems digesting the food so this really helps me with that but other than that that's gonna be basically all my supplements stack so in terms of training I'm gonna be running a four day split which I found is one of the best for me when I'm bulking and it really really works really well in my body it's basically chest and triceps legs back and biceps and shoulder <laughs> It's basically a push for legs split, but I just grab the shoulders part of the push day and I put it on a separate day, basically for one simple reason, and that is that I have an injury on my right shoulder. I don't know for how long you guys have been following me, but if you have been following me on IG for a long time, you guys know that I have an injury on my right shoulder, which is basically an inflammation on my, uh, basically on my bicep, on the insertion on the shoulder, and if, if I train chest and shoulders on the same day, because of the shoulder involvement also during the chest exercises, it really starts hurting a lot and the next day I just wake up with the shoulder really, really sore and inflammated. So I just prefer to take them and do shoulders on a separate day to make sure I don't really, I don't really do much pressing movements on the same day. So I basically take care of my shoulder. You hate and you don't feel me. Cleaning up this dirty money till I'm filthy. Rich, huh? Yeah, that's gonna be basically my split. I'm gonna be starting each workout with a compound movements on a strength rep ranges because I, I really enjoy doing that and I really enjoy training for strength even though it's not my main goal but I really enjoy uh, doing compound movements in on strength rep ranges so I always start with that and from there I'm gonna be moving into more hypertrophy focused exercises in more, um, not really exercises but rep, um, hypertrophy focused rep ranges. I don't know what's wrong with me today guys. I think it's the hot weather because I'm, you guys, as you can see, I'm back in Barcelona and this is, it is super hot in here and super humid and I'm just, I don't know if I'm going to be able to take this during the entire summer. Anyways, that's going to be basically the workout plan. Once again, four day split, chest and triceps, legs, back and biceps and shoulders. And for the resting times in between sets, for the compound movements, is I'm going to be doing strength rep ranges. I'm going to be 
resting anywhere from three to five minutes, just really letting that ATP recover completely before hitting the next set. When you can't float my boat, I stand on what I say. My word is my oath, dog. You wouldn't understand a boss life, your own call. Waiting on my downfall, hoping I fall off. For the rest of the exercises, it's gonna be basically enough to get me ready for the next set, which is usually anywhere between two to three minutes. And finally, for cardio, I don't really have anything planned for cardio. I'm just gonna try to hit that 10k steps a day and maybe a run here and there because I really enjoy running especially at the beach now that I'm back in my city so yeah I'm not really like I said I don't really have a plan for cardio but I'm just gonna be hitting that at least that those 10k steps a day so this is gonna be basically my initial plan but I'm obviously gonna be making changes as I go and depending on how my body evolves and progresses so if you guys want me to do a, a video every now and then to keep you guys updated leave a like and let me know down in the comments Anyways guys, this is going to be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to join the family. Thank you so much if you do. And I'll see you in the next one. Uh -huh.